Hello, bicycles. My name is Hot Sassy, and welcome back to the Beltless Factory here in Factorio. I uh, did a bit more research. Uh, also crafted myself uh, a bit of uh, ammunition, some gun turrets. But now, I think it's time to set up uh, a steel ray. And we need quite a bit of uh, of iron going there, um, and then of course this iron needs to go into um, into more furnaces. we get the steel line and we need steel uh, because I want to have a heavy armor then we need to connect this up to here and we need more coal for the furnaces and once I get my heavy armor, that uh, did not last long, then I can think about going out, looking for some aliens, exploring the world a bit, uh, while we're chugging away here at the uh, at our research with the one lab there if we have a look at the map down here we have an iron patch that we can then use for our base proper um, 14 million that's substantial this one 1.1 1 .1 million so that's 10 times more more than 10 times more than here we have considerable oil deposit, but we are missing um, copper, coal, and stone patches. And looks like uh, we our pollution extends more than than what we see on the map. So let's just make sure that there are no aliens in in that area that would surprise us and until we get the steel i need to fill up uh, those furnaces uh, and maybe the projectile damage is then also uh, finished researching Got all the raw materials for a heavy armor and I also added a few more labs because with uh, the current research we're doing that is slower so uh, this this one machine here still sufficient so I think we shall head out here first and then make uh, uh, a round uh, counterclockwise. So let's zoom out so we can see what's ahead of us um, as soon as possible. And once I discover some aliens we will have to see how we will we will deal with them no alien nest but a worm and right here we have a coal patch and a copper patch so 
all that we now still need is a stone patch uh, and probably uh, uranium at some point. And there we have the first nest. Um, maybe I should have uh, had a few uh, resource pa uh, repair packs. That would have been uh, helpful, I would imagine. But at least with uh, this amount of um, hostilities, uh, I think we're still good. Ooh, up here we have a larger base. I think we will still manage as I can shoot the nests while uh, research is, is being uh, done. Oh, let's do this one. Um, I can shoot at the nest while still being out of reach of uh, this guy. So maybe I need another turret here. And then deal with the worm at the end. As long as you have to deal with one or the other, it's not that bad. Especially if the worms are uh, that small. A lot of worms, they are a bit of a bigger pain. But usually until you get to them, you also have uh, better ammunition, uh, faster shoot rate. So normally I play the uh, game to the end only using red ammunition. However, I also usually have not huge amounts of uh, aliens in my worlds. So that's the, the counter argument there but it looks like um, we are good now we encountered two single worms and then I think four or five nests uh, that we got rid of and uh, if we make it all the way to that corner where we uh, started, we can then have a look at the, at the map. And there is our stone patch. So all that now is missing is uranium, but uranium is something that we will not need for uh, quite a while. So let's head back to the base and uh, see what needs doing there. And this, my friends, will be the last research that we can do with red only. So now it's on to bigger things and that of course is rails. So for a proper rail system, we, we will need uh, power wires, the large power poles. So let's do that next. And then we will move on to uh, engines um, that are a prerequisite for rails, I think. And then we can... I mean, we can already uh, 
set up. We need a, f a factory for power poles. We need one for uh, rails. Um, we need one for uh, the uh, engines. And then I have to think about how do I want to have my trains. Because usually I do one for trains. They are not terribly fast but can haul large loads. But I think here um, we should go with, uh, with shorter trains. And I also think double-headed ones, um, because uh, then we have more flexibilities how to uh, arrange the, the, the train stations for loading and unloading, because I would imagine that uh, a lot of that happens right next to, uh, to factories. And um, if trains can only go in one direction, that limits uh, our possibilities a bit. But we will see when we get there. And maybe we need a few more um, copper smelters. Here on the iron side, I already placed a wooden chest and uh, stashed some iron and uh, and uh, steel in it because the the furnaces were uh, full. So. Let's just deal with that one thing at a time. With the engine being researched, we are on a good way to our railway. However, I think we need automation too first. Uh, we of course need logistics too sir, uh, first. And I also want to uh, get a bit into uh, solar energy and the advanced mineral processing. So I think uh, the uh, railway, uh, that's probably something that we will keep for, uh, for next time. Um, and in the meantime, we will build a few machines, engines, um, and have that up here, and then Here we put in a bit of steel and there a bit of iron. And with that we should get a few engines that we then eventually can use for uh, uh, locomotives. Um, but all that we'll have to wait for next time. For now, it's goodbye.